Um, I had been by the apartment uh, a couple times in, say, the previous month or so, and he was there. That he is Jonah Sims, the person police have arrested, accused of killing his daughter. Family telling News 3, Kaylee and her husband opened their doors to him. And I really, I didn't meet him long enough to really formulate a, uh, an opinion about him other than, uh, you know, he seemed all right. This was Kaylee's nature as a caring person. Her children's godmother saying she would give someone the shirt off her back. Same beautiful smile. Whenever you've seen her, she always showed you all her pretty teeth. These are just some of the memories Kaylee Elliford's family has of her. That she was kind, that she loved her kids, and she thought the world of them, and she just didn't deserve this. Memories they have to remember and cherish. But there's also the memory of where they were when they got that tragic news. Personally, I was in my truck driving to work. Um, and I mean, I, I imagine I took it as much as, as well as any other parent would take it. Uh, not very well. She leaves behind not only her family, but also her two children, ages two and four. The family now trying to help them cope. Like today, I continuously just showed him pictures of her, and he just kept saying, Mom, Mom. And he just smiles. As long as I see the smile, we know we're going to make it through another day. They're trying to stay strong as they hold back tears, but there's a question on some of their minds, a question for the man who killed her. I just kind of want to know why. Like, what did she do to him to deserve that? I don't understand how anybody is capable of doing that. It's, there's no forgiveness there. His safest place is behind bars.